Gemini. This is going to be a reading for Gemini singles, okay? Gemini singles, nobody on your mind, nobody that you are trying to pursue, just strictly single and open to possibilities and, you know, we have a star card there, healing, getting over past issues, to the king of wands there, fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, oh, the devil card, Capricorn, possibly got somebody coming towards you that is a little um, obsessed with you or you have a lot of sexual chemistry with or will have a lot of sexual chemistry with. Quite possibly. Somebody possibly has addictions. You have the sun card there. Leo. Happiness, enlightenment. You know. Hierophant, Taurus. Possible marriage. Somebody that's seeking marriage in you. Quite possibly. Ace of Cups here. All right, guys. Self love. Let's see what's going on with Taurus singles. What are their options for November 9th? Did I say Taurus? You might have a Taurus coming towards you. This is for Gemini singles. November 9th through the 16th. And we have the Eight of Swords that fell out. What's going on, Gems? Eight of Swords there. That's feeling completely trapped. Like a worry ward. What are you worried about? Hmm. King of Swords. Aquarius. I, this is... I don't know if you're ready to meet anybody. Um, it seems like, or either you are concentrating on meeting somebody. That's too many cards. C concentrating on meeting somebody that... Or feeling like you're not going to meet anybody here. But you have a king of swords sitting there looking at you. And I feel like this is another air sign that is looking at you. Or somebody that is um, is very intelligent, um, very studious, very supportive. Could possibly be um, a lawyer, a judge, police officer. They are looking at you, interested in you, but I'm not so sure if, if you are going to open up to this person because I feel like you, you're hurt about something else that does not involve this individual. This person went through a tower moment here where they were just shook to their core. Possible breakup. Let's see what comes with that. Query is here. What this makes me feel like is that this tower is between you and this king of swords here and the energy can go vice versa you guys but i feel like you guys had a a, a breakup here there was a breakup between you guys and this person this king of swords went to look for something else that they felt like suited them better is the way I feel with this. But they obviously didn't find it because guess what? They're in your energy and they're looking right at you. And look what popped out. It just flipped over. They want stability with you. You guys had a, I feel like you had a solid relationship before. 
or you thought it was a solid relationship. And you, I feel like you tried to make it work and you felt like at some point you knew it was shaky. You knew it was shaky, but you wanted to make it work anyway. You were with this person. So you were going to make it work. But you no longer see commitment or stability with them because of this tower moment that happened. And it, it probably happened really, really quickly. Um, and you didn't see it coming because you weren't planning on leaving this person. So now you don't even look at them like they are um, an option or a possibility. You still want marriage, but you're not looking at this person. You're probably thinking that you're not going to find love again. Please don't think that. Please don't think that because that is so not true. But you're going to have to remove yourself out of this eight of swords, get out your head and stop, um, you know, feeling like all is lost because it's not. It's not. Yeah, this person, I, this person, this King of Swords, whoever this is, is wanting to they want to renew something with you. They want what you want now. And they probably weren't willing to give that to you before. They want what you want. And they have fire in their chart. Or they are exhibiting, you know, this fiery energy here. We have Sag here. We have Scorpio here. But I feel like it's somebody that is, you know, this has, has this air fire element um, going on in their chart. And you, you probably, you know, are right there with Taurus in yours or, you know, close to Taurus. This is somebody that you have been with for sure, because Ten of Wands is, is somebody that is, that knows that there were, um, you know, obstacles and things that you argued about in the relationship, but they are willing to accept whatever they need to accept in order to be with you. That's why the Ten of Wands is here. You know, just saying, I'm willing to carry this burden to give you what you want. I now want what you want. Look at that. Two of Cups, Three of Swords. There was something that went on between the two of you. And this person also felt heartbroken, okay? But they know you guys have something special. They know that there's a special love between the two of you here. And they're trying to heal from this heartbreak as well. Whatever it was that they, that they felt like hurt them, only you guys know your, your particular situations. But you have somebody coming towards you that um, energetically, and I feel like they will physically as well at some point. Um, but there's not a lot of wands here, only the Ten of Wands here. So there's not much action being taken right now. But they are just needing to heal and, you know, come to grips with whatever hurt them and lay down that burden as well. Both of you guys are like, in this eight of swords mode where you're thinking, you know, about what happened in the past. Um, but the main thing here is there is a two of cups. There's definitely love between the two of you. Okay. So that is what your option is for November 9th through the 16th, Gemini, and I'll be seeing you talking with you soon.